Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to see how to show and hide tabs based on option set values in a form. In order to give you an example, let's create a record here. And you can see we have an account form and we have different values here. Ignore these values. But one main field here is RAG status. It is an option set field. So in, if I select red here, we, red tabs will be visible. If I select amber, only amber tabs should be visible. The remaining tabs should not be visible. So for this, we are going to use JavaScript. In, in previous videos, I have covered business rule in order to show and hide fields based on previous field or based on option set fields. But showing and hiding of sections or tabs is not possible via business rule. So we are going to use JavaScript. Here we are going to write a function and we are going to add on add on the form properties on events called on load and on change so let's start see by default here red and amber is visible now i'm going to write the code so in order to write the first thing is uh, see first you have to go to section sorry uh, advanced setting you just go and open your what do you call that solution this is my solution And in the solution, uh, there will be option called a web resource here. So just click on the web resource in order to write a new web resource. Here click on new. Let's give a new called hide, hide and show tabs tabs and uh, here we need to select the type whether you want html css javascript whatever the type you are going to give for the web resource i am going to go with the javascript and if you have already one existing file javascript file then you can choose and upload from here but right now i am going to write the whole code so here this is the code editor now uh, i have already written the code for this so i am going to show you the code explain you and then we will paste it here okay so this is the function here for showing and hiding. So this code function here, the first I have added the comment also for each of the actions, you know, so that you will be able to understand it. Here, uh, this function show and hide based on RAT status. It will take an execution context parameter and this function only will be responsible for showing or hiding the tabs based on RAG status. Okay, here I have taken RAG status. Now the next line here execution context here. Okay. This one execution context. Here. So this function will retrieve context from using this execution uh, context dot got get form context. This form uh, this will provide access to the all the forms and its controls on the on which whichever form we are going to apply this logic. It will get that form context. Okay. Now here you can see this I have given the field logical name or schema name so here it, it is retrieving the value of rag status field which i have given here on the account here this rag status so we are retrieving the state uh, the uh, the value which value we are giving here now another one is here that red tab is equal to form context dot ui dot tabs dot get and red uh, tab underscore red so here it is referencing it is referencing to the tab controls using the get method of form context dot ui this one okay and it will assign this red tab to this variable red tab sorry this tab red actually is the section name if you come here and go to the form and here this is the tabs so on the name okay remember whenever we in the code we are giving any name it should be the tab name not the label name this is for display only this is the actual name which will be used in the javascript so we are assigning we are assigning uh, this section to this variable okay this variable red tab and amber tab and both we are getting the we are uh, getting both the tabs here now we enter the conditional statement so here 
the conditional uh, this conditional statement will determine which tab should be shown and which tab should be hidden based on the rg status so here if rg status is equal to 1 see this value 1 and 2 you can see in the field value suppose here we have rg status okay so whenever you create any option set by default some value will be given to that either you can go from here the solution go to your solution account pds and this value should be exact matching with the crm value otherwise it will get, throw some error so go to columns and rg status control f r a g okay sorry this is the wrong table this table account pd now rg status here we have and in the details we'll be able to see the value see for red it is one for amber it is two so i have given the value one and two by default it will be some one two three six zero zero nine five six like that so you can edit it so that it will be easy to put in the code and whenever you give any status you also give in the comment like what what this value one means so that you don't have to go and check in the crm so here if rg status is equal to one if it is red then we are showing we, we are setting the visibility of the red tab to be true amber tab to be false same if rg status is equal to two if it is true then only we are showing the amber tab but not the red tab now in case if a user is creating a new record and if he have not selected any of them if it is a null then we are not making any of the tab visible so this is the function here let's copy it now and let's paste it in the editor okay now save publish see this is one way of writing the web resource the other ways you can directly do it from the uh, form itself so i'll show you that also save it now close it now see if you go to form here i have opened the form right so from here also for, go to form properties and here we'll get an option to add the see it's already showing here okay wait let me just refresh it So remember the first thing is value of the option set should be correct and the second thing is the tab name should not be equal to label name it should be the tab name only which you which you are giving in the javascript this red tab underscore red okay now here if go to form properties if you are want to add any javascript from here you can click on the add as soon as you click on the add the same uh, interface will open to add the uh, that to give the type of the job uh, of web resource to uh, add the sorry to enter the text editor all those things will happen open here from new so right now cancel it cancel it okay now the thing to consider is first you have given the value now you have given the label name now see by default here you can see these are visible right so we need to first hide it by default it should not be visible so this is the tab okay double click on and mark visibility by default off uncheck it come here uncheck it okay save and publish okay now as you at any condition it will not be visible so after that we'll add the javascript so just to see come here let's refresh it It may take one or two minutes in order to sync everywhere so that's okay okay so now if you can see now there is no tab visible neither red nor amber even if you select anything here it's not going to so because by default it is hidden now let's add the condition sorry the javascript which we have added will implement that 
so go to form properties our java web resource name was uh, hide and so tab something like that right so it should be reflecting here if it is published okay it is not showing or what let me see go to add here it should be visible uh, uh, so hide and so tabs okay so select it from here add this one i'm going to remove it so now we have added the this web resource now i want this uh, hide and so to be visible on to be coming to effect in whenever a form is loading or either whenever we are changing the value of that rg status this one so on both the places i want so first i'm going to add the event on on load come on add and function name what is the function name here so and hide this word control give your name now here one thing you have to note it is pass execution context as parameter you have to click on this so that it will be taking the value whatever we have given in the javascript if you don't if you don't pass it then you'll get the error like one of the script for the record has caused an error something like that cannot read property okay you'll get this error if you have not passed the execution context so make sure yeah you are passing it here you are checking the box okay so now on load it will work now i want whenever someone is changing the value of rg status the tab should get changed so here also on change we are going to add that function go to events on change click on ok and function name here also check this one now it is enabled true in case if you have written so many uh, if you have so many on, on change events you can double click and you can just un, uh, disable it if you want so right now it's enabled okay let's save it and publish it now here it should reflect based on the rg status so refresh it rg status red okay still it is not reflecting refresh it hard refresh okay coming here taking some time click on new now going to new so here let's give the name as dynamics power 90 joule and giving the rg status as red so as soon as we are giving red here you can see a red tab is visible if i'm going coming and changing to amber amber is visible and red is invisible so it is working fine let's save and close this one is on change event now suppose if i am opening it so as soon as it is loading the javascript is running and checking what is the rg status okay in case if i hide it nothing is visible so this is working fine so now the things which uh, may give you an error is the label name of the form okay you should take care of the label name this one previously i, I had sorry uh, you should take care of name not label name you should only give this one not this one earlier i gave this one and it was giving me some error the second thing is options it value one or two whatever you have given that only you should give in javascript third one is you should pass the execution context uh, and if uh, you need to add it uh, on the particular field on on change and on load event after that it should work fine if still you are facing any issue then you can post it in the comment i'll try to help it out thank you